right hi friends this is shanmuk so in this video i'll show you how to create a group login okay so usually most of the organizations will follow group login concept so sometimes people uh, won't like to create individual logins so they will ask us to create a group logins only so in case if they are looking for group logins so there is a prerequisite so make sure there is already a windows group is created for them okay and these people those who are looking say for example team of developers are looking for uh, permissions okay imagine in that team we have five members so what these people has to do in case if they are looking for permissions on any sql server or sql database first they have to check with the windows team and they have to raise a ticket with windows team and windows team will create a group for all those five people okay so what is the advantage of group login and all you can see my old videos in my old videos so windows team first they will create a group for these five people these five people are included in that group once they created a, a group uh, for the particular developers then again the developers has to come back to the sql db team and uh, uh, they have to raise a ticket for that so once group is already created then only we can create a group login see uh, there is no group login sql um, authentication okay group login means it should be a windows authentication only and that group should be already existed in that uh, active directory okay so if you know the group name and all go to search and again make sure you choose entire directory okay and click ok then you have to type the group name okay you have to check with the developers what is the group name or windows team also they will let you know the group name you cannot give your own name here okay already an account is created for them in the active directory so you have to either check with the windows team or the particular developers team so that they will let you know the group group name and all so once you give uh, a particular name like this you will get an error okay sometimes you will get an error like this if the group is already existed you will get a okay uh, complete uh, information about the group okay just click on close before that what you have to do is go to object types make sure groups is selected okay click okay then click on check names now you can see here now it is not throwing any error and you can see some underline here means that group is existed in the active directory so click ok and then of course giving permissions is a different thing but i am just concentrating on okay creating the group login so windows authentication is fine and you can just okay no need to change no need to select any other options and you can simply click ok automatically this group login will be created and you can see the group login name here and if you see this is a windows login and this is a group login you can see the icon <coughs> icon difference okay for this you can see only one person in the icon for this you can see one server and two people that means it's a group login in this way by just looking the icons of the logins you can identify whether it is a okay uh, uh, an individual login or a group login yeah. thank you for watching this video